How do you figure out what your core topic is, your core message as a speaker? How'd you do that? Honestly, that success is not something you pursue. It is something you are. Okay, so I've gotten several emails actually where speakers ask me, how do I figure out what my core message is, my core topic? Um, uh, in fact, uh, there's an email, let me just read this uh, or let me sum it up. Uh, she said, I'm a cancer survivor and I'm known as an inspirational person. I have lots of stories and I've gone inward to dig it out and realize that based on work as a speech writer, that I'm, I'm great as a speaker coach, but how do I drill down what my core message is because being inspirational is so generic? Um, in fact, today I got another email from a speaker who said, um, basically he said, I, I struggle with topics to, to speak about because I can speak about so many different things. And that's what a lot of speakers are like. I mean, I'm assuming you can speak about several different things. So how do you pick what your topic is and what your message is? So one of the reasons why speakers tend to struggle with this is because they hear so much advice from gurus and everyone telling you what to do, what to speak about. And you, you just hear so much advice that it kind of just gets into your head and you're like, man, what the should I do? Uh, so that, that's one of the reasons why uh, people struggle with this. And then of course, one person says, oh, I'm right. And, and they say, no, I'm right. And, and you don't really know who's right because one person's advice is almost contradictory to another person's advice. So you're not really sure who to pay attention to. But I mean, of course, I'm the right one. So pay attention to me. And the reason it happens is because you do know a lot and you, you essentially don't want to alienate people. So uh, because you don't want to alienate people, you're kind of like, well, what, what exactly should I talk about? But really, you're just going to have to commit. You just got to pick something. Now, in terms of the core message, um, you don't really want to think in terms of, oh, here's the core message that I, that I want to talk about uh, because you don't really want to be a one trick pony. And you have to understand that uh, your, your core message is almost like a vision. So it, it's kind of like a vision with a, with a company. And it's like, here's our, our big time thing, our, our big mission that, that we're going to accomplish. And that's kind of what your, your core message is going to be. But in terms of actually speaking, uh, you don't want to be a one trick pony because when it comes to speaking, it's not about what you say. It's more about how you say it. So when you get on stage and when you present as a speaker, it's more of the experience you provide, not the specific thing that you're just talking about. I mean, one speech isn't enough. So you really don't want to be that one trick pony. It, it's almost like if you decide eventually, oh, I'm going to talk about sales. That's going to be my main topic. Then you don't just want to have one speech about cold calling. Uh, you want to have a, an entire repertoire. You want to be the sales guy. Ask this question. What do I want to be known for? When all is said and done, what do I want to be known for? When people think of blank, they think of me. That's what you want to think about. So when people think of social media, they think about me. When people think of sales, they think about me. When people think of leadership, they think about me. That's what you want to do. You want to think in terms of what do I want to dominate? What specific area do I want to dominate where, where people say it's, it's like Google? When, when people think of search, they think of Google. So that's what you want to think about. And to find your, your core message, your, your core topic, the, the one true thing that you're really going to do, in order to find it, you want to think in terms of, okay, you, you sit down and wh what do you read? I mean, what are you constantly reading? What are you constantly interested in? And more importantly, what are you obsessed about? So there's something that you're obsessed about, something that you just keep doing, something you, you just pick up a book and you're like, man, I got to read this thing. Something that you're naturally obsessed about that's what you want to pay attention to. If you keep reading a ton of sales books, then you are going to be a sales speaker. Uh, if you keep reading a ton of leadership books or a ton of biographies, it's much better to be a leadership speaker. So think about what are you obsessed about? Where does your, your mind just stay at all, all the time? And here's a really good way to do it because um, I, I know it, it's good and all to just sit down and say, oh, I'm going to be a leadership speaker. I'm going to be a sales speaker or whatever. Um, it, it's cool and all to do that, but Here's what you want to do is whatever you think you can talk about, sales, leadership, communication skills, uh, marketing, uh, whatever you think you can talk about, write all that down and say, okay, I can talk about sales. I can talk about leadership. I can talk about marketing. I can talk about mindset. I can talk about all this stuff. Write it all down. Now what you want to do is you want to essentially do an impromptu speech on each one of those. 
and doing a prompt speech for as long as you possibly can. Don't write it out. Don't write out your speech. Don't say, oh, here's everything I'm going to say. Just do an impromptu speech on each one of those topics and record yourself. Just a voice recorder is good. Uh, just record yourself and think in terms of which one can you talk about for the longest? Which one, as you're talking, which one do you sound more, more enthusiastic about? Which one are you more passionate about? Um, and then as you're talking, you'll notice what's going to happen is, uh, let's say you pick sales, leadership, and marketing and mindset. Um, and as you're talking, let's say you're talking about sales and you say, well, in order to influence people, you got to do benefits and features. But in reality, um, even when you think about this, sales comes from your state of mind as, as a sales training. It's all about your state of mind. If you believe you can sell, you're going to sell. And then you start talking about leadership and you're like, well, in order to lead, you got to know how to hire people. But in order to hire people, it's all about your state of mind. And, and when you hire people, it's, it's more about you as the leader. And what's going to happen is eventually you're going to realize like, man, I talk a lot about state of mind and mindset um, in all of these different things. And you'll, you'll notice the connection and wherever this connection is and whatever topic that you can speak about the most and whatever topic you're the most passionate about, that's the one that you go with. But I do want to make this point as well, because uh, no matter what you're passionate about or no matter what topic you like, you have to think in terms of being very practical with what's going to happen as well. So from the marketing standpoint, you have to think in terms of, are people searching for this? Are people searching for me? So you can talk about basket weaving all day, every day, but are people actually searching for it? Um, there are a lot of people searching for motivational speakers, for inspirational speakers, for leadership speakers, but there aren't a lot searching for basket weaver speakers and, and bubblegum speakers. Uh, so you have to think in terms of, are people actually searching for the topic that I'm going to talk about? You see, I, I know a lot of speakers think like, oh man, motivational speakers and inspirational speakers, oh, that's kind of corny and, and oh, no, no one really likes that. But still, it is number one in the chart of, of speakers that people are looking for. Um, even when they say things like we want a, a sales speaker or we want a leadership speaker, uh, what they really want is a motivational sales speaker, a motivational leadership speaker. Um, so... Don't think in terms of, oh, inspiration, motivational, oh, that's kind of corny and everyone does it. Uh, don't think in terms of that. Think in terms of what are people actually searching for right now. That's what you're going to speak about. And really, it, it, it doesn't just come down to the message or to your topic. The, the area that you want to focus most on is differentiating yourself because anyone can talk about social media, leadership, sales, motivation, whatever it is. Uh, it's not about the topic. It's not even about the message. It's about how are you going to differentiate yourself to market yourself. Um, don't just think in terms of, oh, I'm, I'm going to talk about sales. Think in terms of, okay, my differentiator is that, oh, I'm a poker player and I learned how to read people and, and poker and sales is very similar or whatever. Um, so think in terms of how are you going to differentiate yourself from other speakers. So in order to figure out what your core message is and your core topic is, just do that thing where I talk about you just list all the topics you think you can talk about, talk about them, see where's the connection, see where you're obsessed and what you're obsessed with, what you naturally read, what you naturally talk about, see where that obsession is, and then see if it matches up with a market because you have to make sure that you can make money as a speaker. Otherwise, you're kind of just wasting your time.